Hello, Mike, and welcome to Easy Spanish with Antonio Leon again. Uh, this is the second episode, so if you missed the first one, I will leave the link in the description below. And uh, okay, so welcome. And today we're going to see ways to, to, to introduce yourselves, okay? So by the end of the video, you should be able to say, I'm called, and your name, and to ask for, so, for how someone is called. Um, we are going to see that, and also a bonus one, but that will be in the middle of the video, okay? And um, we, we will also cover some of the basic goodbyes. So, let's start this. First, before we start the lesson, I want to tell you about um, the pronouns in Spanish, okay? Now, Spanish is a very forgiving language. Um, now, in English, you, for instance, if I, if I want to say, I'm called Tony, okay? I have to say, I'm called Tony, or you are called Tony, okay? I have to specify if I'm talking about me, about you, or for instance, um, he is called Tony, okay? Again, I have to specify if I'm talking about him, okay? Now, you can't translate it in English as called Tony because nobody would know who, are, who you are talking about. Um, now, in Spanish, we can easily change this, okay? Um, now, if I, if I wanted to translate this, I'm called Tony into Spanish, I could say, yo me llamo Tony, or just, me llamo Tony, okay? It doesn't matter because we have the different pronouns. Uh, I'm sorry, the, the different um, conjugation for the different pronouns in Spanish. Um, we'll talk a, a bit more about this in, in, other, um, in other episodes, but now I, we will just focus on, uh, on the continuation of, of this program, okay? Now, here we go. First of all, um, you may remember that in the first episode we saw the different ways to say hello. Um, we're going with the basic one in this example. If you want to see more about that, watch the first episode. Um, and I also wrote with different colors the words that are unnecessary to say, okay, that are just implied in the sentence. Now, so, hola, you could say, me llamo Antonio, or yo me llamo Antonio, okay? It's exactly the same, and everybody would understand, okay? So it doesn't really matter, because I told you that there, there are different verb, con verb conjugations. So now, you will see in here a very good question if you are starting the language. ¿Cómo te llamas? Okay. Now you can say ¿Cómo te llamas? Just like that. Or ¿Cómo te llamas tú? Okay. Remember that it, this is unnecessary. This is just implied with the llamas. As you can see, it's really different from llamo and llamas. Okay. The ending um, changes a little bit. And all, uh, this, the next one is um, un placer. Right. So I would reply un placer. That's when I'm pleased to meet someone. Okay. So that's what. We could reply, okay, if you want to be to sound a bit formal, you could say un placer and that's really good. Now again, yo me llamo Marco, okay. Uh, so yeah. Uh, again he's just he would be saying his name. And then I would reply, mucho gusto, okay? I, you could just leave it at mucho gusto, or if you want to remember <laughs> the, the name of the person or just repeat the name, you could also say Mark, okay. Okay, now I'm going to run exactly the same conversation, but in a formal way, okay? In a formal um, situation. Now, remember that instead of saying hello, you will want to say um, good evening or good afternoon or, I don't know, whatever um, the day applies. Uh, so, let's say it's, it's um, in the afternoon, okay? So, buenas tardes, alright? Um, remember, that's like the more formal, um, that's like a bit more formal... Um, Way to say hello. Uh, buenas tardes. Uh, again, you can say yo, or you can just skip it. Me llamo Antonio. Okay. Now, cómo se llama? What are you name? Um, what are you called? Sorry. Uh, cómo se llama? You could just leave it like that, or cómo se llama usted? Okay. Um, yep. And then he would reply, un placer. Okay. So it's a pleasure. Um, he could reply again, yo, or just me, uh, yo me llamo Marco, or just me llamo Marco. Now, in the other example, I wrote uh, in between parentheses uh, the name of the guy. So you could say, mucho gusto, Marco. Okay, now, if you are in a formal conversation, you would not say his name. Um, you, you don't usually say the, the person's first name if you are in a formal conversation, say, with your boss or with someone you don't know yet. So you would call him that man just by usted, okay? Which is actually good for when you don't remember that person's name. 
so you could just call it um, call him or her usted and you would do just fine. So him here would be mucho gusto, okay? And that's also like a, a different way of saying un placer, okay? It's a, a way to say uh, please, nice to meet you. Okay, now here's the bonus one, okay? Um, we, so far we've, co we've covered uh, the pronouns I and you, okay? Now, let's say you want to talk about him or her, okay? Now, for he, the pronoun is el, okay? It's this one right here, or if you want it with um, capital letters, it's this one. Or, if you want to talk about um, a female person, you could say, instead of she, okay, in Spanish, it's ella, okay? Now, imagine you are at a gathering, okay, or a party or a, or a business meeting, and um, you want to know someone's name, okay? Now, um, you don't want to go ask that person because perhaps um, that could be rude for some reason, and um, so if you want to ask, like, your friend, okay, you, um, you want to ask him, like, hey, what's his name or what's her name, okay? So you could ask, oye? Oye is the, um, the Spanish version for hey, okay, so it's like hey, and then you could say like oye, okay. Oye, como se llama, and again you could just leave it like, at, uh, like that, or you could say como se llama él, or como se llama ella, okay, which is like um, hey, what's his name, or hey, what's her name, okay, and then imagine um, the person would, uh, your friend would reply, él se llama Juan, okay, so he would be telling you, he is called Juan, or ella se llama Lucia, for, ex for example, and um, she is called Lucia, so yes, that's the way, you, um, this could be useful for a situation where you want to, to know someone's name, but without asking that person directly, okay. And to end this lesson, um, we will see some ways to say goodbye, in the, in the last episode we saw some ways to say hello, and now we're going to say some ways to say goodbye, okay? So, the first one and the, and the most common one would be adios, okay? This one means um, goodbye, okay? So, that's straightforward, adios, and that's it. Now, um, if you are going to see the person some other time, let's, let's say you are going to say um, goodnight because you are going to sleep and, uh, and then you want to say something else uh, to your parents, for example, uh, before you go to sleep, you could say hasta mañana, okay? Now, the hasta, it means until. So basically it means until tomorrow that we're going to see each other again. Okay, so you could say hasta mañana. Now, let's say also that you are saying goodbye to a friend but you are going to see him afterwards. And then you could say hasta al rato, okay? Be careful with this R because this one is Okay, you have to roll it a, bit of, a little bit, and uh, I will give you some tips to roll the R, but that will be another video. For now, just be careful and remember it's this one, this particular one, it's a strong R. Okay, so hasta al rato, you notice how, rato, rato, okay? Now, hasta pronto, this one is when you, not, when you are not sure when you are going to see this person again, but... Um, you're going to see the, to see him or her like um, sometime in the in the future, okay? And this last one has a different bullet, and this is, um, this is because these ones are for until we see each other again in uh, until tomorrow, until later, until soon, which uh, this one means until soon. But this one you could use it even if you are not going to see this person ever again, okay? Let's say you walk into a store and then you want to say goodbye, but in a formal way, you could say hasta luego, okay? Remember, hasta luego, okay? Then you could say hasta luego also to your boss or also to your co-workers. Uh, this one is kind of formal. So if you say it to your friends, you're going to get a strange vibe because this one is um, a bit more formal, but yes. You could also use it, it doesn't matter. So remember that this one is a bit more formal and these ones you could use it um, when saying until we see each other again in the near future, okay? And remember, hasta means until. So if you like this video, you could subscribe to my channel. I will be uploading a lot of new material. 
for Spanish and also for any language. Um, I will be giving you some language learning tips that I've you know and that I've found to be useful for me um, in the languages that I've learned and that I'm learning still. And uh, yes, so this is the end of the video. I'm sorry to say goodbye, but it's not a goodbye. It's a hasta la próxima. Okay, so hasta la próxima.